Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Blue Army Radio's coverage here of Chippenham Town versus Weymouth FC, live from the beautiful Bob Lucas Stadium in the heart of Weymouth. It really is a sight to behold for all supporters that have been to Weymouth over the past and, of course, that have made the trip here this evening. A lovely little stadium, purpose-built for Weymouth's massive rise to fame in the early years of the Southern League. And unfortunately, they found themselves right back here where they started, but with a very, very beautiful new ground. And uh, we will be bringing you all the action live from the Bob Lucas this evening. Of course, we've got a bit of team news for you just before we get underway. Uh, We'll take you through the scores around the National League South as well. For all of you guys that are interested in the games further afield, and of course for Chippenham's interest in their own relegation scrap so far this season. To the Bluebirds, the team that you're all here, of course, to have a little listen to. And uh, starting lineup today is pretty much the same as the starting lineup from uh, from Saturday, with the exception of Kane Bradbury and Alex Bray dropping to the bench. Goal kick from Will Henry all the way down here. And now Chippenham are into the box. It's come out and it's delivered to Luke Russ. Russ out to Hamilton. Hamilton, he's got Fasson made down the line and that's where he's gone. Fasson made, ball into Russ. Russ now looking for Spencer Hamilton. Hamilton cutting inside, looking for Matt McClure. Matt McClure blocked off by the defender quite well there. And it has gone through to the goalkeeper. And Weymouth can start again. A good little move there from Chippenham dead man Spencer Hamilton and Hamilton doesn't quite win the header Akeem Rose twisting and turning but they're picked up by Eddie Jones uh, sorry Will Will Richards and I'm not sure how but that's gone out for a throw into Weymouth and Brad Ash is in here uh, down the left hand side looking to cut in cuts in right footed shoots and it's blocked by Russ and cleared by Will Tizard shouts for handball go up no, it was never even Remotely a chance that was going to get given, but a spirited appeal from Weymouth and Tizard clears long, but now Weymouth can come again. Russ coming in, trying to nick the ball. Balls into Akeem Rose, slides in. Brad Ash steps over, left-footed, drives it into the fans and hopefully that struck one of them and will keep them a little quiet because they've been very noisy behind that goal. And God only knows we don't need them being an influence on the referee. We've had no luck from referees over the last couple of weeks. As you may have seen in my match reports, a stonewall penalty against Worthing, a stonewall penalty against Concord, both back to the centre-half who can play here through Akeem Rose. This ball short. Fassenmade's going to nick that and a very good covering from the Weymouth three however Tom Mayhew wins the header and now pumps it into Fassenmade Fassenmade finds Mayhew what can he do Mayhew turns inside got a bit of room here Tom Mayhew to pick a pass finds Matt McClure McClure stabs the ball over into Santos Santos second favourite to the ball but he's managed to do something and Matt McClure has gone to deck there he's nicked the ball and he's gone to ground with the player where referee has waved it away no foul however I would be arguing from this angle it definitely didn't look as if it was a coming together instigated by McClure so nowhere near as uh, nowhere near as stonewall as the uh, nowhere near as stonewall as the penalties in the last two games but an early shout there for Chippenham once again Matt McClure going in and it looked to be impeded by uh, the fullback but uh, nothing given and we can start again out got it back and here is the Weymouth number six pumps the ball into Akeem Rose quick press from Luke Russ there but Rose has moved the ball well but a loose pass has found Tizard Tizard now gives the ball to Santos travelling over the halfway line Alfie Santos with Eddie Jones in support he turns inside sends two people for a hot dog and now Alfie finds Joe Hanks Hanks back to Santos Santos 25 yards plays the ball into Eddie Jones and the referee's assistant has given it offside that's not a good result don't want to hear about that Becker I love getting messages from you but I definitely don't want to hear that Hampton and Richmond are winning away at Jones and now Jones with all the room in the world to play his ball across to Tizard Tizard finds Will Richards Will Richards pumping the ball long looking for McClure and Hanks it's broke for Matt McClure here on the edge 
What can he do? Tries to get a shot off where he probably had Santos as a slightly better option there. However, don't hate to see that from Matt McClaw. A natural goal scorer. Anytime he gets his eyes near that rectangle, he's going to go for it as Fasson made. Pulls off one of the greatest dummies he's ever seen as he's miskicked his left-footed shot and he's rolled the ball. Plays to Hamilton. Hamilton all the way in looking for Matt McClaw. And it's gone through to the goalkeeper, Zaki Ula. And good move there from Chippenham. Fasson may probably found himself a little lucky to be on the receiving end of that as he's missed his left-footed ball. Clever enough to realise. He's not giving anything to the ref. He's sticking with his original decision of throw in. Matt Coop not happy with that. Thought it was a bit of an, uh, bit of an after. And I think he might be right as Chippenham tried to clear there as a little ball from Tizard for Hamilton goes into the stand. And now Weymouth can throw the ball in. Here's the number three on the near side. Tries to dink the ball down the line, but only as far as the head of Fasson made. And now Weymouth had to go all the way back to their goalkeeper. Taunton won, Hampton and Richmond won. That's probably the best result, I think, a draw between those two. I think it keeps it honest, keeps them both in and around the mix. So, yeah, I'm happy enough with that. Hamilton wins the header there, and it's uh, out for a throw-in again here. Tossed in by the three is Akeem Rose. Rose strong enough to withhold the challenge and I can't believe what I've just seen. No actual contact from Will Richards there. Will Richards has gone sort of backwards really. Akeem Rose kept given or what kind of thought process has uh, gone into that but it didn't look as if there was anything there about them a misplaced ball from Akeem Rose and Weymouth can consider themselves very lucky here to have a free kick halfway between the 18 yard box and the centre circle. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't think that's uh, a decision that I would have been given, but uh, such is. And here is the following free kick. Free kick pumped in long, looking for the heads. It's broken loose, and Tizard, I believe, gets that away to Russ. Russ tried to take it around the 14 14 drives, all the way into the hands of Will Henry. Finally joined. How are you playing so far? Yeah, not too bad. Bit, bit mixed. I think, you know. We've started to grow into the game in the last 15 minutes. First 15 minutes, I think Weymouth were probably just asserting their dominance at the home side. Rose, but it's gone all the way out for a goal kick now. A uh, couple of weird decisions there from the referee. Firstly, the, the Weymouth free kick. Um, and then, um, then the free kick not given uh, and pulled back for the advantage on Matt McClaw's centre of the goal there. But, yeah, we'll see how he, uh, we'll see how he goes with that. Will Henry gets us underway again into Will Richards. Bags of room here for the veteran defender. Pumps long, only into the 10 for Weymouth. And Will Richards now will need to win this ball back and does cleanly. Luke Russ, strong challenge and it's broken for Alfie Santos. Matt McClure on the move, but he's found Fasson made. Chippenham can do something here. Fasson made, put the ball in. It's gone all the way over and the keeper's had to pull off a fantastic recovery save. Fasson made, knew nothing about it. He was looking for Matt McClure and the goalkeeper backtracking had to get something on that and put it over his goal because Fasson made's cross was goal bound and it was dropping in over the head of Zeki Uluwa. However, he, Weymouth goalkeeper has got back and tipped the ball over the top. First chance for either side. And Chippenham have a corner here with Alfie Santos stood over it. Santos delivers. It's high, it's in, it's on the keeper. Keeper punches. It's, it looks like it's gone over the line. Oh, the linesman's not given it. He's waved it away. Oh, that, oh, I don't know. That's going to be another one where we really will have to look back over the highlights later on. But... It was cleared from certainly on the line, if not over it. The shout went up from behind the goal. All of the players appealed it. The linesman seemed very sure that it hadn't gone over. And Weymouth come away and Fasson made here in the corner, tussling with the three. The three gets it long and now it's going to be hooked and helped. left footed clearance Joe Hanks is going to bring that under and does Hanks looking for an option instead decides to gallop back into his own half but retains possession finds Santos Santos into Russ Russ now puts the ball long looking for Fasson made but it's just a bit short and it's cut out 
Spencer Hamilton's got some work to do here as his man's got the other side of him. Hamilton's gone down, but it's under his own doing. And now one-on-one -on -one with Tizard cuts into the box, goes round. Russ chops and comes across again. Still going, this fella. He's got his shot off and it's gone out for a corner to Weymouth. He must have evaded maybe five, six challenges from five, six different Chippenham players there. Got into shooting position. And uh, I think if he pulls the trigger just before he decides to go around the final man, we may have been uh, having a, a trouble or some effort there to deal with. But as it goes, it's out for a Weymouth corner on this near side to be taken by their number 14. Team sheet's gone walkabouts, so I can't even bother to speculate at names now. 14 delivers the balls in and headed clear as Will Tizard, I believe it is there. Uh, sorry, no, it's Eddie Jones wins the header. And Eddie Jones is taken one in the back for his troubles there. And he is fouled. Henry. Now, Will Henry... He's got options in front of him. It looks as if he's going to go long looking for McClure. And McClure is going to lose that one out. But Eddie Jones wins the header. Jones into Matt McClure. Matt McClure now on the left-hand side. Clips the ball towards the bodies. Alfie Santos wins the challenge. But the ball is now back with Jones. Jones heads and then stabs the ball into Santos. Santos flicks onto Mayhew. Mayhew back to Santos. Alfie left-footed. Driven in. Looking for Fasson made. It's not come but it's been cleared. As far as Luke Russ. Luke Russ strikes... Oh my God, what a strike from Luke Ross! It's hit the back of the net with all the ferocity of Matt Smith. We were talking about it only 10 minutes ago. A big, big goal for Chippenham here in their push to get out of the relegation zone. And it is that man, Luke Ross. It is an absolute firecracker from the Bristol Kante. Not famed for his goal scoring in any way, shape or form. Do you know what? Funny enough, we've been having a bit of a long-running joke. Me and Rossi's family, his dad, Jerry, and his granddad, Rick. We have been speaking for weeks about why Rossi shouldn't be shooting from 25, 30 yards. That one is the pick of the bunch. When you guys get to watch that back on the highlights, I absolutely promise you that is a contender for goal of the season. Up there with the Joe Hank strike away at Chelmsford, Luke Russ has come up absolutely huge here with a massive, massive goal in Chippenham's push to get out of the drop zone Luke Russ an absolute fire scorcher from about 30 yards out hitting the top corner and Luke Russ is that man that has given Chippenham a 1-0 lead here at the line good challenge there by Bearwish and now he moves the ball out to the fullback here for Weymouth pumps long down the line looking and Will Tizard covers and scoops out with his left foot into Alfie Santos brings it under control foul there but the referee is absolutely the referee's not given it um Stonewall foul. Eddie Jones tried to get the head on. Brad Ash has cut inside here. And a great challenge on the cover from Luke Russ there to go out for a chipper for a Weymouth corner. Um, I'm not sure why the foul wasn't given on Santos, but Luke Russ doing the business at both ends. First putting Chippenham 1 0 up and then stopping Chippenham from acres of space. A goal in front of them, 2 on 1. And Luke Russ has saved Chippenham's proverbial bum bum corner delivered all the way in there's the ball cleared by Fasson made and it's cleared quite well actually towards McClure and uh, although he was two on one there never the favorite to get on that it's forced them all the way back to the goalkeeper which is uh, not a bad thing considering that uh, they can't score from uh, that far back and now the keeper pumps long 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 ball over towards Eddie Jones Jones has lost out the head of the number 14 Luke Russ has come over and Russ has been fouled uh, it's gone out for a goal kick I'm not sure why the Weymouth supporters behind the goal are screaming and shouting. Luke Russ was absolutely clattered there as he was making the challenge on the recovery and it's gone out for a goal kick. As Weymouth prepare to make their first substitution games, they're only as big as we make them. And six pointers, they generally mean that we don't get six points. It means that we get three, while the other team that are a rival around us don't get any and fall three points further behind. And at the moment, that is huge. Absolutely huge. If we can hold the result here against Weymouth, Weymouth not winning is almost as important as Chippenham getting another three points. And I'm sure there'll be plenty of football to play between now and the end of the season for all sides involved as Will Richards and Will Tizard, sorry there, gets into a bit of a fumble. Ben Thompson plays the ball over as Brad Ash has flicked it. And it is into the hands of Will Henry. Will Tizard there has almost got caught, a, uh, caught kipping by uh, Ben Thompson. And um, he's gone down holding his, holding his, uh, holding his leg. And this is, this is one of the beautiful things in football. 
Ben Thompson has got down the right hand side Brad Ash has flicked the ball in and as he's gone to deck Brad Ash has taken just as long to get up off the floor as Will Tizard yet there's about 10 Weymouth fans baying for blood down in the bottom right hand corner there Will Richards heads long into the fullback the fullback's clearance is out for a throw in for Chippenham in their half that's where we want to be seven minutes remaining I'm reliably told I'm trying to chip away the clock as best as I can here myself I've got it the six minutes remaining so I'll take that six minutes here for Chippenham to hold on and do something plus added or maybe they could do more here as the ball into Joe Parker Parker edge of the box left footed strikes into the hands of Zeki Ula unfortunately not quite enough on the uh on the cross there uh, on the shot from Joe Parker and Weymouth at the moment not looking too troublesome with five minutes left Bobby Wilkinson is screaming for urgency from his Weymouth charges and he's not getting the response he wants and Chippenham here are in control of the ball in their half Tom Mayhew to Santos Santos lines one up left footed strikes off the crossbar it's come back to Fassin made Fassin made handball surely ref oh no Alfie Santos with an excellent left footed drive there smacked the crossbar full in the face it came back to Fassen made and now Chippenham have got to be careful ball over the top looking for Jones Eddie Jones has dealt with that superbly a backwards header between two and a good ball to Santos Santos turns turns again what's he going to do he looks long and finds a great ball to Joe Parker Joe Parker great first touch driving one on one with the fullback Joey Parker inside left footed strikes blocked Back to the edge of the area and now Weymouth can come again. Chippenham are really causing Weymouth some problems. But here come Weymouth over the halfway line. They've got bodies in support. Ball into Brad Ash. Brad Ash left footed strikes straight into the hands of Will Henry. And Will can clutch and go to floor. Chippenham there in a furious, furious two minutes striking the bar. Fassin made strike was goal to Hampton the other day after going 1-0 down. They came back to win exactly 6-2. Here's Eddie Jones, left-footed, strikes against Santos. Jones wins the flick. Out for a throw-in. Here on the near side, Weymouth are going to try and load the box up here as they are desperate to grab something from this game. <laughs> Chippenham have been very good tonight and their performance has merited something here from the game. It remains to be seen whether it'll be three points. As a completely impartial observer, I would say that Weymouth arguably deserves something from this as well. But at the moment, Chippenham hold all three points and Zeki Ula there gets the ball it's a, and Tom Mayhew has nicked the ball it's three on one if they can get it right Tom Mayhew outside of the right foot into Joe Parker Joe Parker on his own turns cuts inside left footed Joe Parker blazes over and hits the stand <laughs> big chance to put that to bed for Chippenham there probably just didn't get it right with the ball across there Mayhew gave Parker a little bit too much to do and Joe Parker had to shuffle back onto his unfavoured left foot and his shot blooms over but again the ball is out. plays long looking for Parker Parker on the turn if he gets that under control which he has Chippenham have retained possession in the way of half Joey Parker heading for the corner turns back finds Hamilton Hamilton looks inside finds Parker again Parker into Bradbury Bradbury looking the way holding time up in the corner looking at holding it and there is the final whistle Chippenham have won it away here at Weymouth it is a 1-0 win courtesy of a Luke Russ wonder strike I am going to literally leave you there with that moment Chippenham 1 Weymouth 0 I'm going to go and celebrate with the boys. Matt Chappell is going to go celebrate with the boys. We will see you later. Well done, everyone. We look forward to your comments on Twitter about how bloody brilliant we are. Seven unbeaten. Chipping them with three points here against Weymouth. And we're off to celebrate from all of us here at Blue Army Radio. Good night. Good evening. Good morning. And we will see you all on Saturday against Dover.